Alright, hello everybody, it's Lucky again, we're back for yet another Savage match, this time the match between WW and Timo. I'm solo casting today, and well, let's see, looks like WW is going for a power mining garrison in the base, however, only three guys staying in the base, while three guys are going actually uh, the we uh, east side and two guys on the west side, so... Uh, looks something like this, uh, Unreal there was going to scout, actually a wise choice from he, he saw that there are some guys coming in and he decided to go this way, oh it looks like he's gonna wait here for them and try to attack oh no, he was waiting for his friend, now they are going together to monkeys where he's actually where one guy swift is actually farming monkeys they might pick him off and this will be huge for them because uh, human won't have a gold, actually no, Demo decides to go downhill and go into the human base where are actually only two guys defending now however all workers being pulled now to build a guard tower will this be enough to build it uh, this is a question uh, looks like yeah right in time however one worker will die no not a single worker picked off nice wonder uh, looks like mm, demo team is going for arcana nexus and what will be their tech i don't know uh, they are going. Oh, this is not the standard build, really. They are going for corner minder. Uh, you usually see that uh, somebody is taking those middle, middle sides uh, mines there, but well, this is not the case. They are still not going for any tech, though. They have a uh, red zones for it. They have a frenzy ready. Now they are going for strata. Very delayed strata. I don't know why. It looks like a mind is a bit out of his mind, stuff like this. And now Tirza is fighting against some of Demos, two Demos will pick her off. And uh, yeah, Strata is slowly, slowly getting up, I guess the level 2 is already on the way. Looks like uh, Human have pretty weird build, level 2 already up, they are going for Magnetic first. So a shield attempt there. Uh, one guy is hanging around there, it's Unreal, he's gonna go in for workers, this is weird. I don't know how is he supposed to kill some workers with this tower around there and yes, Crossbow will pick him off even before he reaches those workers. And uh, let me see the human base build. Actually they are blocking the way in now though it's still suckable from behind as you can see. Uh, let me show you. Uh, you can actually pass this guard tower here, you can climb here over this edge through this wall and over the research center. However, you will need some heals for this. At the same time, beasts are getting actually the charm shrine, so summoners with tempest combination. But there is something interesting going in here, going on here, because all the WW are actually moving towards the second mine. I don't know what did he get this level for. Looks like uh, demos are still hanging around without any weapons. This is weird, really weird. I don't know what are actually demos doing. They aren't playing. Like the guys who didn't l lose a single match so far. <laughs> but yeah, Stalker up, Summoners in 35 seconds. And Frostbolts, looks like Frostbolts are up now. And a little bit of battle, Unreal will have to, will be forced to fall back now. <laughs> Actually, he's going not so back because he's heading towards the human base. Meanwhile, beasts have some guys going actually uh, to the human monkeys, which are at the north right where the commander orders the WW to move in. This is weird. They are perfectly finding out where the action is going to be. Will Unreal actually get his heal? Yes, he does get the heal. Siege is already up. Uh, ballistas hanging around there, right? No. I, I, I bet I've seen the ballista there. But I don't know. Level 3 on the way for beasts. And the shield is up. Pretty summonable. And as I told you, it's suckable, but not as a stalker. At least not at this moment when humans are defending. Also, there is a side subler. A very, very useful subler. It will gold star human a little bit because it leaves only arches for them. And obviously, arches leave less gold than the monkeys. You might expect it. Two guys are going uh, the very, very west way. 
Uh, however, look at this, there is already a Sabler going up on the different side of the map. Stalkers building it, four Stalkers, two Nomads. Definitely Stalkers in the upper hand position. Luke has been picked off already and another Nomad will have to fall back. Not against Tempest. You're not gonna take this fight, Swift. Are you, actually? Looks like he will turn around, try to fight a little bit. But this can't be finished good for him. Yes. He has only 145 HP. Ooh. Yeah, but Shagrid misses a lot, a lot of his hits. And down he goes. Ooh. And yeah, also Savage being picked off now. Looks like they are farming them orchards. They are kind of being blocked in their own base. I don't know if they have the redstones. Yeah, they are running out of those redstones. Now workers being sent, I don't know what th what is this idea because there are actually stalkers with Tempest uphill, so... Ooh, nice one there. So those stalkers will definitely... Now another nice block there, but ooh, eventually he goes down. Now look at those <laughs> workers, I mean... They aren't even turning around, right? They are going uphill. What is that supposed to be? Seriously weird stuff there, uh, another worker. Yeah, all three workers are down. Yeah, I, I don't really want to spectate dead workers. Uh, there is some action around there. There's still no summoners around. Actually, first summoner spawning at the summer. So, soon if Demo gets a little bit of push there, uh, the shield will go down. Now, uh, human are actually getting the uh, marksman bow. Summoner is trying to get his way through, Robin Five Hood will now scout him out, but he will go down, Tempest will pick him off, Oglav still there, but he goes down, doesn't get a magnetic power up, but whoa, eventually, Summoner goes down to those repeaters, focusing. So, shield is still safe there. Looks like Shagrid and his friends are hanging around. And yeah, this is pretty bad position now for WW. They are not even spawning for now. Getting another tower to make this shield uh, more blocks. Uh, looks like a couple guys are sneaking. Actually, they will decide what to do. What are they doing here? Hanging around here. Uh, maybe the pretty dis distant garrison the and the attempt uh, to drive with ballistas through all this way. Uh, he will see anyways, worker. Ooh, Where is the worker? Yeah, actually there is a worker. I don't know what is his sight. Yeah, actually he perfectly sees everything what's going on there. So those three savages are scouted out. Meanwhile, there is a summoner in the human base. He's actually shooting shield. Two more hits. Two more hits needed. And nobody is actually going for Dragonar. One more hit on the shield and it will go down. And there is a guard tower. Which will protect this shield a bit, but not at all. Dragonar finds his way, the shield is down, and this looks horrible for WW. Now the guard towers will fall one by one, and now summoner is coming in. What is going on with those savages around there? It looks like only one savage knight guy is left there. Oh, there is a garrison. Whoa, what the fuck is this garrison? They are building the garrison right next to the sabler. <laughs> there is no way that he's not gonna be spotted. <laughs> it's like a freaking joke there. Uh, I would like to see what are they saying now. <laughs> I would be like, what the hell is that garrison supposed to be? Meanwhile, is he going for another shield? Uh, I don't know. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Nice guy, actually, nice one there. He finds the sabler which was built by only workers. He picks off those workers, and well, it looks like he will now fight against some guys, but uh, let me see, there's another guy coming to him. Yeah, but it's normal. It's Lucas. Nice game being picked off meanwhile. And yet another nomad, Robin Five Foot, hanging around here. Uh, probably being scouted out. Uh, actually, no, the both ways are covered with darkness now. Our sub lair is under attack. Uh, ooh, if you would go for Garrison, it would be cool. Actually, he is going for Garrison. Oh my god. Uh oh. Oh, Five Star doing a fucking trick there. He's like saying, can we concede now? While there is a rush garrison going up. And seriously, no scouting out from 
Oh, there is a scouting worker, but he's way too late. He's not gonna see that there is a garrison going on. No scouting workers in the base. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this garrison is almost up. I don't know if WW has a gold for... Oh my god, they have 20,000 gold saved up. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my, the garrison is almost up. Still nobody spawning from demo team. Oh my god. 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 Look at this. The garrison is up. Ballistas are spawning. Holy shit! There will go for Lair. Oh my god. Lair is being hit. Look at this. Nobody's spawning. And now Behemoth spawning. They will try to take damage. However, one Behemoth already going down. All the ballistas spawn. All the team is spawning as ballistas. Look at this. What a fire there. The Lair is being hit. 7,000. 4,000. No. Oh my god. The Lair is down. Holy shit. <laughs> 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 And ladies and gentlemen, Demo loses their first round in the whole NSL in this NSL 4. <laughs> 1-0 for WW and let's get to the round 2. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, welcome back at the round 2 of WW against Demo. Obviously, WW taking the first round with a very nice Ballista Rush. And, uh, well, if now they do something tricky and win this match, this could be pretty epic. The first lose of Demo in NSL 4 there. Uh, but, yeah, looks like uh, Demo team is going for a power mining garrison in the base while. Uh, WW will rather go for uh, East uh, Middle Sabler. Looks like Shagrid is scouting things out. He is doing nice uh, arrow shooting around there. Ooh, nice one there. And he hits three times. Ooh, two hits there. And he misses one arrow there. Another one. And the defacer gets uh, two great hits on him. But Shagrid will land yet another arrow and let me see what's going on. There is a guard tower for defending in the human base. Looks like bees already have a nexus up and oh, Unreal actually going in for workers. Looks like workers will be pulled away. Unreal doesn't quite manage to get a block in time and all the scavengers spawning will kill him now. Good game. Uh, looks like uh, demo team is actually going for electric function, so uh, well, I wonder if they will do a shield actually because it's pretty pretty close build. If they will have a shield, they will definitely rely mostly on their own defenses, and the players, and stuff like this. Meanwhile, Xabista is just farming the uh, monkeys right in front of uh, WW face, and now this scavenger coming in. Oh my god, oh my god, looks like actually Demo is going for Demos. Ah, this is funny. So, chemical faction there, and ooh, this will be epic. If they will go for Alec plus Demos, they will. S they are so angry, they want to freaking finish it fast with all the freaking push. Medkit's going up, whoa, they are gonna play it very, very, very aggressive. This is gonna be interesting. Looks like Spire is already going up for WW. Well, I guess this is a wise choice from Demo because they have to push as soon as they can. They cannot let the uh, WW team to get a lot of defenses and the crucial positions because then it would be much, much more tricky to push. And WW doesn't really need to win this round. But well, unluckily for WW, this map isn't really uh, like wide out free in the last week. So, it's not inducing so many draws there. It's pretty small and it's not so difficult to push. So, well. We'll see a lot, a lot of action there going on. Flux is already up. Demo is not yet because this chemical is so delayed. Only two workers can build it at one time. And... Uh, let me see the beast base. They went for strata obviously, yeah. No Tempest yet though, and this will be huge now. 
just look at this uh, I bet there's demo yeah demos are coming in with flags and this will be bye bye for this subler actually uh, not all the team only three guys two guys behind the third one very very behind just leaving the base now but it doesn't look like uh, the beast team has anything to hold off and actually this sub being turned into this are you oh holy shit there is a garrison right next to this subler what will happen there this is gonna be a crucial battle why tears are went for does she have a Tempest? No, what a mistake by WW team. Why did they pick the Tempest at the close battle? Oh, maybe they didn't know about this garrison, but this might cost them the game. Uh, if they would go for Frostbolts, they would, there would be still a chance for them, but come on. This is not Quake. They don't have an epic aim like hitting the Tempest right at the point blank. Uh, better than this mm, Flux Gun and... Well, they got Pounder with it. Demo's up for uh, Demo team. I don't know why Moxie doesn't have a Demo in his hand. Sabler will be down in no time now. Look at this. It will blow off. Bam. One. Demo. Killing two. Oh my god. Three Demos and blowing up three WW game players. Oh man. Now WW has to fall back and this is gonna be huge for Demo. They will take control over this side of the map and let me see if... No, Enemy Beast didn't uh, really mm, expand any f anywhere else and if as human you, you manage to lock the opponents in one spawn, leave them only the base to spawn, then well definitely you won this match. And already... Uh, human are going for this mine where they just killed the su the subler, yeah. Trying to put the garrison there, and probably being successful at it since uh, even sacrifice is being up for WW right exactly now. Uh, so well, jumping on some hills. I I don't know why I can't spectate Shagrod, for example. Yeah, no. Another, yet another garrison. Ooh, Demo is playing this like crazies. They are going for a garrison at the monkey's uh, position. Oh, though only one guy building it. This this could be crucial, but now three more guys on the way there. So this savage will definitely cover the nomad from upcoming stalkers. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, what a mistake there from Moxie. He shall use the flags now. He will get it off. But, well, it looks like first Ballista coming in. Uh, obviously, what I was talking about when Moxie was blocking is the uh, this strategy, which is kind of pro-related, something like this. Uh, whenever you block as human and you have a weapon uh, of flax or repeater, it works with repeater too, I guess. You just, after the block, you don't swing. Uh, but you just use the flags, but it only uh, is useful for legionnaire, obviously, since the mm, savage can block and hit and block instantly. However, at this position where Moxie just uh, had his opponent at no HP, if he would use the flags when his opponent was actually way too far for him to hit him, well then uh, he would kill him. Not like this one. Ah, I bet you guys get it. This was a lot, a lot of explanation. Let's say Button is going for Fire Shrine. Nobody really going to stop him. Nobody will even try. Though there is a monkey. Monkey deals damage to him, but looks like Oglap will save him from the troubles. Kills the monkey. Uh, now, ooh, nice, nice, nice one there. Button is blocking whenever. Whenever Oglap has a shot. Ooh, at the last moment he makes a mistake and uses a swing instead of block. Looks like, whoa, shit, Strata went down very, very quickly. Oh, looks like WW cannot hold this. Only 8 minutes in the game and we already see that. Uh, yeah, Strata is being rebuilt, but a lot, a lot of push from Demo team. Look at this, they aren't even going for shield at the base. Getting level 3 now. So, yeah, they are completely relying on team skills. So they won't even try to defend the base, I mean, with his shields and stuff like this. Could be huge for WW if they would actually go for Behe mode and try a sneak Sabler or something like this. <laughs> if they would sneak twice, 
I bet Dima would eat their own balls, but but I don't know. Already garrisons all around the map. Unreal getting the speed, but he doesn't use it quite well. Goes down after killing two workers. Though look at this, two guys actually sneaking. Mish is sneaking right into the stronghold. Actually activating his sacrifice way too fast. No way that he's gonna suck anything. Seriously, anything. He's gonna go for those savages and bam. Yeah, blocked. Another garrison, uh, the final blocking garrison. Now, uh, if you look at the human commander enemy. view, no, he still. There are still some ways like uh, uh, near the wall where you can actually pass unscouted by the commander. So the sneak is still possible from the WW team, but they don't have behemoths. They don't even have level three yet. I guess I don't know yet. Let me see in the moment. I'm just let's spectate this battle first. Looks like still a very very nice use from uh, demo of the uh, of flags, but stats say some kind of different thing because it's only 39 frags for demo compared to 27 from WW, so not a huge huge difference there. Actually, WW using the flags nice. Uh, I mean, Tempest nicely. Sub getting behind those stalkers unscouted. What was that? Unbelievable. He gets Robin five hood from behind. Cool stuff there. And well, let me see. Yeah, no level 3 for beasts yet. Though they will go, they will try a sneak sub there with a sacrifice. But well, as it is said, the same strategy doesn't really work twice. Especially since Nemo will be like so cautious now. I bet they will just scout out every single possible push and sneak from WW. Looks like Stalker killed one worker there. Not enough. Legionnaires already up. So, well. Soon the final push is, I guess. Oh, looks like my mistake. Legionnaires aren't up yet. Ah, uh, yeah, I got mistake there. And uh, yeah, still no shield attempt in the base. I, I would, if I would be mine, I would really get at least a uh, very cheap shield, like shield here with two towers blocking it, just to be safe from some kind of sack rushes. Uh, but yeah, looks like Demo will do a pushing wave. Yeah, now legionnaires are up, definitely. Four legionnaires pushing into the... Yeah, Luciano agrees with me. Put the shield in the base, he says. Shields are bad, says mine. Oh, button blowed up by Sweep. Down he goes. Nice fireward placement there. Unreal will get the Alec and the frag on Mish. Now another swing. Yes, the swing which misses actually, but... Oh, another swing misses and down he goes. What a mistake there. What a misplay from Unreal. Ooh, he shall try to block, try to defend his demo. Looks like four legionnaires died there and only one stalker was picked off. So, huge, huge stuff there from WW. But, uh, oh, let me see actually if they have any resistance left. Yeah, they even have a mine, but not enough resistance for level 3 and predators. So, oh, this would be so bad. As I already told you, like, I don't know, maybe I told you three times, something like this. Uh, you can defend with savages against pr uh, predators, but, well, you cannot defend with stalkers against legionnaires. It's just impossible. At least in my opinion. There's such a difference in power between stalkers and, and legionnaires. It's seriously, seriously huge. Especially if... Uh, Demo would start to use immobilizers. <laughs> However, they don't even have magnetic, so this won't happen. Oh, ma how often do you see the match where the clan doesn't go for magnetic at all? I really, I don't recall a match like this in the whole NSL4. Well, maybe the matches like when somebody was going for demo rush or siege rush, with the matches which finish in like 10 minutes, something like this, but not as. The, in the long term match like this one this is gonna be huge looks like Mish with a summoner he's gonna try to use it to defend 
and the gap of frags is getting bigger and bigger already 59 to 37 Okay, Mish is going for this. Ooh, Legionnaire reloads right in time. But yeah, I would love to see more garrisons pushing now. And Magnetic is finally up, so uh, yeah, and getting sensors, so probably the immobilizers next. Mm. Also, he's gonna get another electric vacuum just for a buff ball. Buff pull, yeah. Oh my god, I hate them for those relocks. What is going on? I'm lost again. Oh yeah. There we go. Moxie actually fighting. Oh my god! Kill me, the level 3 was actually on the way, so they had enough redstones for those predators. And they even have the redstones saved up for a uh, rush stubbler if that comes to the question. But Sans gets awesome, awesome angle. Tempest cannot hit them. He Oh my god, how can they miss so many Tempests? Now they are hitting him, however, the fire will go down, no! He misses the his hit, one more hit on fire, no! Holy crap! Sesman fucks it up! He hit the uh, lair once instead of uh, fire, and fire being left on no HP. Unbelievable, unbelievable, they are now rebuilding the fire. They need to keep up the, their tech if they want to survive those upcoming 30 minutes. Oh my. Tirsa gets blocked by between two legionnaires and down she goes. And look at this. Unreal and Moxie will now push. Moxie will have to relog there. I will go up because I don't want Unreal to relog at one point. And take him, take me back to his base. Looks like he's putting the demo on Strata Shrine, which is already damaged quite a lot. However, there is a scavenger Oglap sacrificing himself to disable the demo, and Moxie will have to relock. Fire is already ooh, uh, the major majority of each of its HP is back already. They repaired it quite nicely. But what I dislike about Demo is again that they are pushing not in the groups but uh, alone and maximum as two guys, so horrible play there. Uh, actually, they are changing it right exactly now. Four guys coming in and the catapult right behind one guy who will just get there in to cover him. Oh, this is gonna be huge. Actually, Coil is up for uh, Demo, so it's gonna be again good against the. Against the. Tempest, but well, there was a mistake putting a fire buff on the phaser who was going for this catapult. Huge mistake, they will miss this fire at the defense against four yes. legionnaires. But looks like they will now come into this base right behind this tree and ooh, too early on this hit. Now obviously, there is a pretty good trick if you activate your sacrifice and uh, hit the blocking legionnaire right uh, before your sacrifice goes off, you will definitely kill him, because you will disturb his block. But looks like one demo will go off on this Strata. No! Unbelievable their play from Tirsa. She just uh, disabled this demo right in time. But another siege is coming in for demo team, and looks like nobody will scout it out in time. Tirsa gets a fire and a heal. There is a catapult hitting in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, not good play there. Luciano, oh, being so sneaky, he's like halfway in the wall. Oh man. Yeah, he's trying to defend himself, but he has the whole team to do it, so why bother? You shall just push in. Obviously, Catapult can tank a lot of. Ooh, bam, nowhere. Can tank a lot of Tempest damage. Looks like a sack wave coming in. They want to pick this catapult before it manages to shoot anything. Looks like it's going for Strata now. And Unreal in pretty tricky position. He got through. He shall put his demo now. Put your demo in. Oh, actually the catapult gets a final hit there. And Alec in perfect moment. Mind just blows it off. Amazing job there from the... Well, this is, was a co-work for Unreal. Asking for a power up in mind, giving him right after the block. So down goes the strata. Nexus is almost down, and this is huge for Demo. No, no redstones to rebuild strata. Really? So yeah. 
Now even the fire will go down. Yeah, one more shot from this catapult. Actually, two more shots because it's not very accurate. However, Moxie placing his demo, taking down the fire, and the charm will go down to two more hits. One more hit. Actually, yeah, it goes down right exactly now. So this is over. The garrison being up right in front of the WW base. Look at this. They have like five garrisons in this area. Huge, huge push there. And this is gonna be over in no time. The lair is actually getting down here, so we can call this match already a draw. But seriously, already amazing job from WW, the first clan who draws Demo in this NSL now. So yeah, there we go. Week six, and D Demo against WW. We have a draw, one-one. So good game, both clans. Uh, yeah, and see you in the next broadcast, guys.